We spent $12,000 in 12 hours and all I got was this shitty video. Hello, I'm Brad Pitt and I'm going to read a dinosaur. Hey guys, what is up? We have been training our V2 video model at Infinity. And so today I wanted to share some of the lessons learned from training a large diffusion transformer model. When you train large models, you need a tremendous amount of compute for your model to converge, which means for it to actually give good outputs. You can do this on a single GPU, but you'd have to sit around waiting for a very, 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 very long time. Or you can scale that up across more GPUs and make that convergence process go faster. When you scale up your training beyond, you know, typically eight GPUs, it requires you to network multiple nodes together. And this is typically what's called distributed training. So a single node is like a single computer. So say your laptop or your desktop computer, it can have one GPU, four, eight GPUs on it. And these are literally still just physically connected as one computer. Typically when you go above eight, you're starting to need to connect multiple computers together. So think your laptop and your friend's laptop now need to be connected together. They need to send information back and forth to each other and talk pretty often. If you had really slow internet, it would take a long time for them to communicate. If you had fast internet, fast connection speeds, um, their communication would be a lot more efficient. When it comes to high performance computing of these multi GPU nodes connected to each other, it's not Wi-Fi we're talking about, it's literally cables, but the actual bandwidth capabilities, the efficiency of the cables connecting these computers together really, really matters. So this is what happened when we spent those $12,000 in 12 hours. We basically scaled up our training, but we did not yet have the proper high bandwidth connections in place. So we were on Google, we were on GCP, things were going well on a single node. And so we then scaled up to two nodes. They were still going relatively well. Um, we were converging faster. And then we scaled up to a lot more nodes. So typically what you expect is, let's say you scale up to two nodes. You're paying twice as much and you get should get just under you know, 2x increase in your compute efficiency. So you should converge, you should get better model results twice as fast. It'll be a little bit less than two because there's always some information loss as you're having to you know, deal with this communication overhead of having multiple com computers needing to talk to each other. Um, let's say you go up to four nodes, you're paying four times as much, and you should ideally have you know, close to four times as much compute efficiency eight, 16, et cetera. What happened to us is because we did not have that high bandwidth connection in place, we were say spending eight times more, but only getting like three times the compute efficiency. And so we were just looking at our model results um, during these 12 hours and we're like, why is it still converging so slowly? Uh, this doesn't make any sense. We're throwing so much more money and throwing so much more compute at it. And of course, it's just because those computers were not properly networked together. So hard lesson learned. The good news is that we were still on Google's um, free compute credits. So while that is actually $12,000 of real money that can be sent on compute, it was not real money in the sense of something that actually hit our PNL. Um, so that's the like, you know, lesson learned and thankfully we didn't have to spend uh, US dollars on it. But here's the thing, then we talked to Google, we talked to GCP engineers and they have something called TCPX. This is Google's version of that protocol for like high bandwidth, low latency communication between multiple nodes. So it's a special kind of cluster that we get access to. And then it turns out that no one at Google knew how to use it. And so we waited around for like a week for their special solutions engineer to tell us how to actually start training what TCPX implemented and no one could help us. So we ended up moving over to Microsoft Azure. Um, they have InfiniBand and that is incredibly easy to set up. It basically just comes for free when you kick off your training runs. So that was so easy. Plus uh, Azure actually has the cheapest GPUs available compared to any of the other major providers. So we're also super, super happy about that. 
So hopefully learn this lesson from me. You don't have to spend your own money. Make sure before you're scaling up to multiple nodes that you have the proper high performance networking in place so that you can actually scale up in a cost effective way. Otherwise you are literally burning money. The final lesson I wanted to share, uh, this was something that we spent quite a while debugging is data loading and data loading times. Um, we are training a video model, and so our training data files are quite large. And so there was a period of time where we were literally bottlenecked by the speed to kind of load new video training samples into our GPUs, into memory. And that was actually the bottleneck as opposed to, you know, actually running forward and back propagation and actually uh, training our model. So this was a huge issue because data loading is not does not require gpus so we were paying for these expensive gpus but, but basically just having these expensive gpus wait around while the data was loaded long story short of what happened here is we were literally being throttled by cloudflare we spent a while chatting with them they couldn't quite understand the issue either so eventually we just moved our data storage to azure as well in the same region as our compute was and that fixed it. But this is definitely another gotcha where you can waste a ton of money if you're being bottlenecked by something that is not your actual kind of training time. All right, so now I am happy to say that our model is training stably. Things are looking good and getting better and better every day. The model is definitely nowhere near converged yet. It still has a while to go, but I would say it's at the point where it's already pretty fun. So I wanted to show you guys how it's looking now. All right, so what I'm gonna do is go on the Infinity Discord, I'm going to the Generate tab, and then I'm going to use the make it talk command. This is our V2 model. And then I'm going to drop in my own um, portrait in here. You can really put a portrait of anyone, and it also can be like a drawing or a cartoon. And then I'm gonna choose audio. So we just have a couple of funny audios here, um, or you can upload your own, I'll show that in a second. But uh, let's do no. So this is Michael Scott from the office. Um, let me just do like three of these. And then, like I said, you can also upload your own audio. And so you can just record yourself talking and put it on your friend um, or on a famous person. And then, oh, these other ones are ready already. So perfect. Let's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it a watch. Uh, it's always fun to see what happened. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 <laughs> I really like that one. And then there's three variations of it. So I can, I can quickly play these others for you so you can see that they're all different. No, God! No, God, please, no! No! Um, and then here's the third one. No, God! No, God, please, no! Uh, so pretty fun. And then let's listen to this one. I'm looking for a man in finance, the trust fund. Six five, blue eyes. Finance, trust fund. Six five, blue eyes. I'm looking for a man. Pretty good. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> My hair started turning colors. All right, and then let's try the uploaded 11 Labs audio one. Howdy, partner. I'm so pumped to be a talking head. Pretty good. It's kind of cool. We are updating this model every few days on Discord, so you can feel free to go on there. It's totally free, um, and you can track our progress and just follow along on the journey as we improve the model and update it. And then the final thing I'll say is we are having a weekly video competition in August, uh, and so they're posted on Discord every week. There is some kind of theme, and then you have until Sunday to submit um, an entry that is aligned with that theme. Um, the winner gets $100, second place gets $25, and they're really, really fun. So I encourage you to check that out and submit an entry to the competition. And then while you're on Discord, please say hello. If you came from YouTube, I would love to say hi. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.